All right, let's get started with my new tutorial is using the crazy bump. If you want to dream work we Blizzard uh Power Studios um any big project in front of great games you need to use this tool because it's a, a time saver for create a uh, uh, normal map you need to fix or create a weird solution to create a good map see you can use crazy bump and create normal normal maps for your projects or for your models how are you going to use this easy just start your crazy bump select your texture and you can convert this in normal map just easy way because crazy Boom is in charge in everything all together to convert this texture in a normal map and at this moment now you can see is just a sphere and the other side with just adjusting parameters to get the best result and the best resolution from the normal map. So I'm uh, just shaking these parameters in adjust this this texture. Uh, so you can see the lights coming coming from the top and just checking all the results from the slot material and you can check the lights and modify this so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this material and start the project in 3D Max. Let me save this first. So I'm gonna put a name. Uh, we call. Let me see. Uh, GPS maps and uh, you can save this first with GPS format is the best way to do it. This is my project and I'm going to assign this normal for the floor for the cobblestones. This cobblestone for the world in for the town. So and start my material slot and press M and select the boom map slot and gonna find this so I'm gonna start, start from zero and just double click the bitmap um, looking from the folder the normal map this is my normal map I can generate the boom maps and the ambient occlusion, everything in Crazy Pump. So I have my boom map ready. I'm going to click for a new, new material, new shadow. In this, in this side is the normal map. I'm going to keep the, my old material my old texture and I have a normal map. I'm going to show this parameter. Uh, the tip is you can play and experiment every you need to get the best result. Yes. And this thing I'm going to show you how it works this normal map from the crazy bump. It's an amazing tool and so you need to use this for if you want to work with the big projects like Blizzard and samples to uh, samples to thanks Microsoft um, E and EA or or electronic arts oh and just checking the tangent how it works I'm gonna 
try with screens, screen options, and I'm gonna increase the boom up. So I'm gonna fa use a face map for every polygon in the plane. We'll map it with this number map. So it's a simple plane with 64 for length and 64 for width. And I'm gonna assign this material from to the plane. Okay, I'm gonna test we stream now. Let me see how it works this. Rendering. Well. So this is the result using the stream. Mm -hmm. Very dark, but, but you can change this and experiment to get the best result. So I'm gonna change this for tangent. And you have the normal mouth with cobblestones for the rocky roll, if we want to say, for my town. I'm gonna put a tip. I'm gonna use a displacement tool. And I'm gonna select the This is a big change. So you go and see in the future with lights how it works with using one single light. In this moment, when I see, you want to see a test. This is a first test for light. Uh, shadows and light. Oh, light and shadows. Lights and shadows. And that's, that's it. Thanks for watch this video I hope very helpfully for you increasing new knowledge thanks and George and watch out me 3 dultimate.com thank you